We begin with controversy at Queen's Park. At the centre is a decision by the Speaker to ban kafiyas, a traditional scarf often worn by Palestinians and Muslims. All three of the province's party leaders, including Premier Doug Ford, say they don't agree with the ban, but today an NDP motion calling for a reversal failed. Maria Saru has the story. The NDP's efforts to reverse the ban were blocked by at least two members of the Progressive Conservative Caucus today in direct defiance of Doug Ford. Agreed? No. Agreed. I heard some no's. PC MPP Robin Martin said today she was the voice behind one of those no's. The speaker made a ruling that we couldn't wear the cafe because it was a political statement and the decision was the correct decision in my view. In an unusual pattern for a party that typically stands behind its leader, PC MPP Lisa McLeod also said she supports upholding the ban. She shared a written statement with CHCH today saying, it keeps with tradition and reminds members to keep our debates focused on words rather than on political props. The kafiyah is an important piece of cultural clothing for many Arabs and a symbol of solidarity with the Palestinian plight. It's a cultural expression. It shouldn't be something that we have to debate. Hamilton Centre's independent MPP Sarah Jama has been seen wearing the kafiyah at Queen's Park. Premier Doug Ford reaffirmed his position that the ban is divisive at a news conference in Oakville today, but he didn't directly answer questions about whether he would support the NDP motion and about the reaction of Jewish MPPs in his caucus. I love the Jewish community. I have friends and I have a son-in-law in the Muslim community. So, like, everyone needs to get along. Official opposition leader Marit Stiles led efforts to reverse the ban. I think the premier uh, needs to now make sure that his caucus does the right thing. Maria Saru, CHCH News.